so let's just talk about put request in express so the put is one http request and it is used to update or replace resources on the server so from the client we can send request to the server with some data and we can update some existing resource or we can create one new resource if it does not exist so let's see how we can create put request in express so here we have one list of users with their id name and the age now we're gonna use the put request and we're gonna update one specific user with the id so let's just create one put request so we're gonna use app.put and we're gonna use the route users slash and we're gonna send one id parameter so here we have the callback method with the request and the response so first of all we're gonna get the id from the parameter user id we're gonna use request dot params dot id now we're gonna convert this to integer so we're gonna use the parse int now we're gonna get the new username and age from this request body so we're gonna destructure the username and age from the request.body so we have the user id let's just find the user from the users array so we're gonna use the find method so const user equal users array dot find and we're gonna check if user dot id is equal to the user id that we got from the request parameter so if we find any valid user so if the user with the id exists in that users array then so we're gonna update the user dot name and user dot age equal new age and then we're gonna send so we're gonna send the updated users array else if we do not find the user with the specific id then we're gonna send the response with the status code 404 and we're gonna send the text user not found so let's now start the server nodemon index so let's now open the thunder client and we're gonna create one new request so here we're gonna have the put request to the url localhost 3000 slash users and here we're gonna pass the id so we wanted to update the user with the id 1 and in the body we have to send the new username and age that we wanted to update so here we're gonna pass one json body and the new username will be xxx and the new age will be 100 so this is the new data we wanted to update so let's now send the request so you can see we have the response with the updated array and you can see the first user is updated so here the name you can see we have xxx and the new age is 100 so initially it was the name was alice and age was 25 so we have successfully updated our users array so in normal scenario we're gonna send the data to update some database but here we're just using the mock array so now see if we pass some id which is not exist in the users array so currently we have only three ids one two and three so let's now send the id 10 so click on send so you can see we're getting the response user not found so that means our put method is working fine so this is the way we can send data from client to the server to update existing data or we can create data if it does not exist so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one take care